Hey, what's up? Today I want to do the how to save money and live on less tag. Now I'm not sure who actually created this tag, so if you know, please let me know and I will link the person's channel as well as video down below in the description. Let's get right into it. Question number one. What are the most important frugal things you do every day to save money? For me, that would have to be drinking water. I drink heaps of tap water, no matter where I am. Cooking my own meals and free entertainment. I am a huge reader. I get all my books from the library and I enjoy hiking and doing yoga at home. Question number two. What is your best strategy for saving on utilities? Well, if you don't need the light, turn it off. If you're not at home, turn the heating down or turn it off. And really only use appliances when you need them. Number three, what is your best tip to save on food and household products? For household products, simply make them yourself. Super easy. If you take vinegar, essential oils, and baking soda, you can make pretty much everything that you need yourself. And when it comes to food, adopt a plant-based diet. It's as simple as that. Fruits, vegetables, greens, legumes are usually fairly inexpensive. They make for delicious meals and they're very nutritious. So adopting a plant-based diet would be my number one tip when it comes to food. Question number four, what is your best tip to save on clothes? <sighs> go thrift shopping, go to the stores, to the thrift stores, to look for things that you need. And also look online. Whenever I'm looking for something in particular, then I check online. I check on Amazon, I check on eBay, I check on whichever marketplace I can use wherever I'm living. In the US, I was a huge fan of Poshmark. Go to thrift stores and simply check online for used clothing. Also, another tip, know your materials. For me, just in my experience, cotton lasts me longer than pretty much anything else and I love wearing it. And same goes for linen. So just know what you love and just know what will last you. And that's, of course, dependent on how you care for your clothing, how often you wear it, all that jazz. Question number five, what is your best strategy to stay out of debt or pay it down? Well, I've never been in debt, so I can't really speak from experience. My advice would just be to live within your means. And of course, it's easier said than done. And really, so is everything. Question number six, please share one thing you do to save money that other people don't know. I don't think there is one thing that I do that other people don't know. Hmm. Oh, I use a hanky. I use a hanky every day, so I don't need to buy tissue paper. I'm not creating any waste in this area and I just find it a lot neater because I always have a hanky on me I always use it and I wash it whenever it needs washing which is on a regular basis and that's really one of those things that does save me a lot of money in the long term because when I was a kid we used to buy paper tissues and now I really appreciate having a tissue made out of fabric that I can reuse and that I can wash and that I can care for and I'm no longer creating heaps of waste in this area. And I think that's something that's oftentimes looked down on and if you've never tried carrying a hanky with you and blowing your nose with a hanky, just try it out. It really isn't as nasty as you think it is. It's actually quite awesome. And question number seven, how important is it for you to save money? That's a really good question actually, and I will be answering it this way. It's really important for me to live a suitable life. Now a suitable life can mean different things to different people. And 
I think that's its beauty. I found it very helpful to not label it and to simply live suitably. I picked it up on a book. It said something along the lines of simply live a suitable life and that just really resonated with me. And to go back to the question, how important is it for you to save money? Having my emergency funds in place simply allows me to live the life that I'm living. If it wasn't for saving money, I wouldn't be traveling right now, I would have never left Austria, I wouldn't have moved to the UK, I wouldn't have been able to pursue unpaid internships, I wouldn't have been able to move to New York City, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. So saving money is important to me because it allows me to live the life that I'm living. It gives me peace of mind because whenever I move, money is usually not a huge concern and I can just focus on whatever it is that I want to do in the moment. And frugal living simply allows me to do just that. I simply greatly enjoy frugal living. It's something that I discovered a couple years ago and it just struck a chord. I stuck with it and I absolutely love it because again, it allows me to live the life that I'm living and I personally deem it as suitable. It simply fits my character, it fits my nature and it's just something that I hugely enjoy. This was it for today's video and now I would like to ask you a question. So what are the most important frugal things that you do every day to save money and to live a suitable life? Have a lovely day and see you guys next time.